Hey everyone, Metro's back, and we're looking at Ore Gorger, right? We had the pleasure of testing this boss. Actually went well for once. We were actually able to test the boss without a thousand people disconnecting constantly. Uh, as you might have <laughs> surmised from the last two sets of videos. But, yes, yeah, so this is Ore Gorger, right? Uh, this is just a preview, right? This is not a strategy guide, okay? I'm not... I'm not, you know, I'm not making a strategy guide out of this. It's just, just to look at the fight. Basically, what you're going to see here is, uh, from a tank perspective, obviously, uh, he's going to do a, like, toxic barrage or something like that. No, it's black rock barrage, toxic, I don't know, something else. I can't remember, honestly. But anyway, he's going to pick the tank with it. See there, I have the debuff currently. I'm the paladin tank. He is going to shoot me with it. And based on how much damage it does to me, it's going to split to other people. Very similar to the voodoo dolls in Garajal from MSV, third boss. But And then he's going to follow that up with like three interruptible damage uh, abilities. So the strategy we were employing here was I was going to take three as I have you know three good rotational cooldowns. And then Silico, our bear tank, Rick, who's going to take three more as well. He might even take four depending... And that's the face. It's pretty much that. I mean, I, I don't know it from a range perspective, nothing like that. Obviously, you can't see a lot going on here, but uh, at least you get to, to look at the butt. You know what I mean? That's all anybody wants. They just want to look at the boss, just like LFR. You just look at the boss. How great is that? You know what I mean? You don't even have to do the strategy. You just you could just look. So it's a pretty interesting encounter, actually, and not because it's first phase. First phase is, once again, absolutely brutal for melee. Uh, it's... It, the toxic spray thing that he does, like the targeted thing, is based on the closest person. So if for some reason a melee gets too close to the boss, like closer than the tank, ooh, you're dead. And so is the raid probably because it's you're not gonna like you're not gonna be able to take the damage. So here's the second phase. Pretty cool concept. Uh, he's gonna do this like roll around thing where it's like I don't even know. Gizmo called it like Bomberman. I guess I've never, I don't even know what that means. But you got to break these boxes. So as he rolls over them, he eats them. His name is, in fact, Or Gorger for a reason. So you just break the boxes and then he eats them. And when he gets, I think it's like five boxes, he gets to 100 energy or mana or whatever it is. And the second phase like ends and the first phase begins again. Uh, it's pretty brutal, this this fight, honestly. That Like this mechanic especially because everybody's you see like it's not it's not native to all want to stay together and i don't know the strategy yet you know months from now people will have complex strategies maybe you know involving certain lanes and certain areas but as of right now we were literally just it, it, i was like you know about 10 of these 13 people are in ventrilo with us and i'm like listen stay together and look at this like nobody stays together look at there's people everywhere and it's because it's just not natural. It's not like you don't... Everybody gets split up because he's rolling around. And it's just... I, I don't know. This is going to be a mess in LFR and like flex type difficulty or whatever. Normal. But anyway, that's the boss. Uh, just just going to be a quick one because I, I don't know. I, there's not a lot to look at. It's a lot of wiping and a lot of disaster. But I like the concept. Uh, the tank swap thing is pretty cool. And... You know, the rolling around is certainly a unique concept. Whether or not it's well done at this point has yet to be seen. But it was a cool boss. I enjoyed it.